Hey, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Happy hump day. Hope you're humping. Look at this. Long sleeves. Can you believe it? It's not a long sleeve day. It's 646. I'm working late. Boy. And yet it's still 72 degrees and not long sleeve weather. And look, I've already got crap all over the sleeve. Look at that. What is that? Is that ink? No. Looks like it'll come off. Oh, it's stuff from this mouse pad. Man, that's annoying. I just got this shirt. This is the first time I've worn it. I thought... Yeah, it's going to come off. That's okay. Um, today was... Stupid mouse pad from 10 years ago, which is decaying before my very eyes. Uh, yes. I thought today was the day that everyone on the team was going to wear their shirts. We all got new shirts. This is the first time I have a shirt that actually identifies the team I'm on. Usually I'm, I'm an appendix. I'm an island. Usually I don't get a shirt at all, so I'm happy to get a free shirt with the new logo. Picture day is next Wednesday, so I just look like a jerk today. Next week I'll look like a jerk, but so will everybody else on the team. And it'll be less wrinkly because I'll have washed it. We assume I will do the laundry between now and next Wednesday. Man, can't believe I've got black crud on my sleeves. I sure hope it comes out. Plus, I'm going to have to figure out how to wash off this desk so that it, nothing else gets black crud on it. All right. Somebody will be using the whisk tonight, boy. Will Wild Cherry Pepsi get it out? No. Cheers. Anyway, as you can see, I have put the Timberwolves autograph sheet. This is so annoying. Look at that. This stuff. I don't even know what it is. It's probably toxic. I should probably get a new mouse pad. But this one's got semantic on it. I mean, you can tell it's kind of been well used and marked up. And here's the part that's coming apart. And apparently leaves black residue everywhere now without me realizing it. So that's what I've done with it. I've taken down all the K11 MPP signs that are right here. I also noticed I had them arranged in a way to spell KKK. Subtle racism. So I fixed that right away. One thing I wanted to tell, notice that, in, in fact, you can actually notice it in this photo better than you can in real life, but when I bought my new set of magnets, they're not exactly the same as the old magnets, are they? They're a little bit different. You can tell this red and this red are different, this yellow and this yellow, this green and this green. And it's like one of them is like a matte and one of them is like a glossy. But also, this one... Here's the old one. It's all it's all kind of rounded. And this one's very much more flat. You can totally see the difference, right? No, not when you're close up. It's actually more noticeable back here on the wall, I think. Where were these? There we go. Anyway. But uh, somebody asked, <sighs> in fact, it was Peter. Now that you have the 14 autographs, what will you do with them? I'm going to leave it right there. I always wonder what people do with sports autographs. I know people collect important ones and buy slash sell them, but you don't strike me as the collectibles type. Are you kidding me? I don't throw anything away. I collect everything. How many of the Timberwolves autographs are really collectibles? To me, they all are. Those are my guys, man. I love all those guys. I like those guys. I think the reason you hold on to stuff like that, at least, is to remind you of the day that you had, and it was a good day, and you look at it, you just kind of think back over the course of the season, and even though there weren't a lot of wins, it's still good times. And that's why you hold on to stuff, well, that's why you hold on to practically anything, right? Profound. Peter continues, when I was a kid, I had a picture on my wall of Bobby Hull and it was autographed. That's pretty cool. It was cool at the time. It's cool now because it was Bobby Hull and I loved hockey. Did that change? 
Don't you still love Bobby Hull and or hockey? Now, I'm not sure why I would wait in line to get autographs, as I don't know what I would do with them. Well, it's not just getting the autograph. It's, you know, that three seconds of face-to-face -face time with them dudes. They're all pretty cool dudes. You know, even the goofy lunkheads. There are goofy lunkheads. I don't know. It just comes with being a fan, I think. I'm a fan of the team. I'm a fan of everybody on the team. I have high hopes for next year, or I wouldn't be a season ticket holder again. Did renew. I'm sure I told you that sooner or later, but if I didn't, yeah, we're going to be there next year. Tomorrow's the last game of the season, and uh, we will wrap up our perfect attendance. And, even better, we got courtside seats. Courtside seats! Do you know why? We won the Kiss Cam Contest. I knew we would. Kim and I were on the Kiss Cam Contest. And I registered us, and put us on Facebook, and asked all my friends to like it, and some of them did, and enough of them did to create enough attention that we were the winners for the whole season. Now, they won't tell me that I'm the only entrant, but I strongly suspect I may have been the only entrant. But none of that matters. Courtside seats. The real prize is a $500 gift certificate at Continental Diamond. I don't know. I'm not big on jewelry, so I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I reckon it means they'll try to sell us some $2,000 thing for $1,500, which doesn't seem like much of a deal to me. But I guess we can see what we can get for $500. Bucks. But I don't care about that. Courtside seats, man. So I'll take the camera and get some exciting pictures of, I, I don't know, Denver Nuggets, the stars of the association. So it's the Timberwolves Nuggets game. Kim and I are going to sit courtside, baby. And we'll probably have to recreate the kiss or something. I don't know. So if we end up on the big screen, I'll also see if I can get a picture of that. Although that's going to be kind of tough because if they're sitting there interviewing you, you can't really be taking a picture of the big scoreboard. That's the other thing. I think you really got to crane your neck to watch that scoreboard thing. Of course, you should be watching the players on the court, right? Yeah. <sighs> so, Cerebus said some disparaging remarks about the Timberwolves, which I'm going to ignore. What else? Having an item signed by the whole team makes a great autograph item. You don't get too many chances of finding something like that as a collector. If you were to sell it, having a couple pictures from the signing would be helpful. I took some pictures. Some of them are good. Some of them are awful. If the team goes on to win a championship. It adds more value. No one likes losers. Yeah, well, we're not going to bank that championship anytime soon, let me tell you. Funny story, I have an 8x10 photo signed by Warren Beatty and Dustin Hoffman. These are two pretty big actors, and for a collector, having this would be pretty cool. Now, if I said it was from Dick Tracy, people would say, wow, that's kind of awesome. If I said it was from Ishtar, people would say, what the fuck would you get that for? I thought Ishtar was very well notoriously notorious. An autographed 8x10 from Dick Tracy would probably sell for 100 bucks, and Ishtar would be 30 or 40 at best. Wow, I find that hard to believe. I have the Ishtar, and it's not for sale. I don't know. Maybe that's just my way of thinking. And one of the reasons you like sending me stuff is because I, I do think that way. But an Ishtar, that'd be kind of a big deal, right? I guess it's one of those things that you, you can only like ironically. So you can get some hipster money for it, right? Or is this Ishtar from a time when hipsters wouldn't be paying any attention. Oh, I've almost run out of time. I'm so far behind. Yeah. Greg asked uh, why I don't have a picture of myself with Beasley or Rubio. Well, Rubio wasn't there, first of all. And second of all, I wasn't interested in getting photos. They're all behind tables, so it was all about what we could get Kim. We got Kim, Brad, and Darko, and that was all she needed. Hmm. Loves them big white guys, huh? Yep. Mike asks, have you ever been to the Boston area? No. Uh, no. I've been, to, I've been to Philly for ECW, but that's barely like going to Philly. And that's nowhere near Boston anyway, so I don't even know why I brought it up. Anything in New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island, or Connecticut? I don't believe I've been in any of those four states. And now I feel a little more caught up. 
Although I will find my YouTube comment from Otto. I'm the first to view this video, but I didn't hear a word you said because someone next to me keeps talking. Maybe you should be talking to them and not on the internet, Otto. Come on. You can do without the internet for one day. Especially if you're watching me talk about basketball, which you hate. Uh, there was another conversation about guys named Otto that I need to bring uh, to your attention. But that'll have to wait for another time because I'm out of time. Thank you. Happy hump day. We'll see you tomorrow. Courtside seats.